My name is Michael Dunolis. I'm New York City's first certified cigar sommelier tobacconist. Your first step is to take the torch. As you're lighting it, you wanna rotate the cigar. If I could do it, you could do it. When I got into this industry, I wanted to have the credentials, the match, the history, and the elegance of this place. And something that I offer as a sommelier is if you don't have to know anything about tobacco because I have your back there. So let's say you're a, a white wine drinker or a old-fashioned drinker. I can match up two to three cigars based on the drink. So all you have to do is come in willing to enhance your own experience and then we'll do the rest. The whole idea was to try to make whiskeys and cigars approachable because through that learning process that I had to learn about cigars and also how to make cigars, and I wanted to be able to give that experience to the customer. So when selecting a cutter, it's really all about preference. So sometimes when I have a nice torpedo, I'll do a V-cut. Put it in there. Another fun way to do it, my preference, is the straight cut. You find the cap right at the top. You just want to nick the top a little bit and then you'll notice how it still has the sides on it like that. That way the cigar doesn't fall apart. The third one would be the punch, where you just go right from the top, touch it, and then you turn. And just kind of let the punch do the work for you. What we are educated on is the actual notes, the actual tobacco. We don't specialize in brands or anything like that. We break it down and we really get into the tobacco and that's how we're able to match them up with the whiskeys, you know, the food and the pairings and how we do it. We open at noon and we close after midnight every day uh, and on the weekends very late. So we get a different rush every hour, hour and a half. Uh, you know, around five, we'll get the guys coming out of work. By noon, we get the guys that are still at work and they're on the laptops, you know, having a cigar and coffee or tea or something. By eight, nine o'clock, you'll start to get the couples and the girls and the guys coming in to have like a little pregame. It's just like a really fun and different atmosphere that I've never really been a part of. Cigars is a luxury item. As much as we want to make it um, approachable and fun and enjoy it for the art that it really is, it is a luxury product. Something you do with dad when you know your team wins the Super Bowl, or something you do when a you know a baby's born. Something to mark an occasion. Something to mark a, you know a beautiful day, or something to do on Monday because we're bored and we don't have a good time.